everyone welcome to the sewing swan today I'm showing you how to make this adorable cute bunny bag you will need two pieces for the outer fabric this measures six by eight inches of course you can adjust it to any size you want and two identical ones for the uh, um, the lining I mean the same size you will need four ears and you can just google bunny ear and you will find many free templates that you can download and use I just traced mine from my my cell phone screen and then you can transfer it into a, a hard um, a paper for future use you will need some ribbon I'm using this core today two pieces of 13 inches for each bag and you will need something to round the bottom of the bag with if you like to of course this is optional two pieces of uh, interfacing for one for each ear you can just use the template the same template to cut them just to give uh, the ears um, the firm look that we like on our bag now take a mark of two inches from the top edge of the bag and downwards here on my on my board one two inches and here two inches From both sides for the outer fabric and the lining fabric both to, to bottom of the bag which is optional it can just work fine without it place the ball you have or the rounding shape you have uh, half an inch from the bottom or the edge the lower edge of the fabric and half an inch from this side and just trace it and stop like in the middle of the bowl from the side I mean and do the same to the other side just half an inch from the side and half an inch from the bottom this is your guide half an inch and half an inch this way I hope you can see the line yes it shows in the camera do the same for the lining but you will need to leave an opening in the lining somewhere to flip the bag out draw a line at the half an inch as your guide for your seam allowance not just as a guide for the seam allowance but not to get confused when you get to the curve line so you just sew on the line remember to backstitch where you start and where you finish your sewing and for the piece of the of the lining this piece you will backstitch at the beginning and where the opening starts and finishes and then at the stop point there you go there you go outer piece and here is the lining piece with the opening at the bottom the pieces for neater look for the lining and for the outer fabric so you get this shape at the bottom of the bag With the wrong sides facing you, we will attach the two bags to each other at the two inches mark that we took previously. At this mark, remember, we took from both sides on both bags, the lining and the outer fabric. So I will take one side and attach it to one side of the lining, pin into place.
and from the other side here we will sew all the way from one two inch mark all the way to the other taking only one side of each bag together there you go now we attach the other two sides of the two bags here so we pin and we sew from the two inch mark all around to the other two inch mark back stitching at the beginning and the end go here's how the bag looks and from the opening in the lining we flip it out The opening is small but it will do the job make, make are flipped out for a neat look um, use your finger use a pencil or a flipping tool so you get the nicest look when finished now you can sew the bag closed by hand stitching or machine stitching is just an, an inch of opening now we leave the bag aside tiny face of the inner facing to the wrong side of the fabric of the ears press and remember only one piece for a couple of pieces of the ear fabric this way you could trim um, uh, the inner facing piece to be uh, like one quarter of an inch smaller to reduce the bulk while sewing but you will do just fine with one layer of it so don't worry about that so with the right sides together get the two pieces of an ear one with the inner facing and one without right sides together and sew all around with one eighth of an inch seam allowance all around leaving the bottom side open for the other ear right sides together back stitch at the beginning and back stitch at the end there you go now flip those ears out Flip the ears out and give it a good press. Place the ears half an inch from the edge of the bag, pin in place. You need to fold that half an inch on the ears. Take the pin and pin the flap on the ear this way now you sew at the edge of that flip there you go remove the pins and you get the ears attached now flip the ears back and stitch them, stitch them at the top of the edge of the bag itself this will be the casing inside this part and we don't want to sew in the middle we sewn already we have sewn already on the bottom of it so we need to sew at the top edge of the casing 
this way with both ears pointing up pin it. so pin it. and for easier sewing so one eighth of an inch seam allowance at this edge there we go I sew into my pin by mistake so be careful now we now we on the other edge of the bag the edge that doesn't have the ears so we will fold at half inch and we sew just at the edge with one eighth of an inch seam allowance there you go now use a hairpin or a safety pin I'm using this for my cord make a knot so it doesn't slip away from the pin and from one of the sides insert the pin and through the other part of the casing also until you come out from the same side make a knot on both sides get the other piece of the ribbon or the other piece of the cording now you entered and came out from you entered in one opening and came out from the other opening but both are on the same side now you enter from the other side and go all around to come out from the other opening on the same side this way so you go from this opening you come out you insert the other opening hold both of the edges of the other cord so they then go inside So you get two on each side. Make the knot Of course you can make this longer if you want. And your cute bunny bag is finished this was super easy and super quick I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for future tutorials and share this video with your friends on all social medias if you have any question please comment below if you want any uh, project to be featured in my channel please let me know and see you next time